G'day and welcome to this week's video. My name is Robert Gowdy and over the Christmas break I gave some thought to how people could build up a sizable uh, deposit for their first home and was utilising the first home super savers and knowing that you know, house prices have gone up so considerably over the last 10, 20, 30 years that it's becoming harder and harder to one save a deposit and save a deposit that is meaningful enough to have an impact on the amount of debt that they borrowed uh, moving forward. There's been quite a few articles of late around the bank of mum and dad. Apparently it's the, uh, the bank of mum and dad where parents and all grandparents are providing lump sums to children to help buy their first home is the ninth biggest lender in Australia. So we are talking tens of billions of dollars. But one thing that providing a big lump sum does is doesn't mean that the, the kids are saving on a regular basis and getting into a good savings habits. Plenty are, but the big lump sum, you know, just before they buy doesn't teach uh, savings. And that might be something that uh, parents might want for kids. Um, and it also doesn't do it in a very tax effective way. And utilizing the first home super savers uh, scheme, where you put money into superannuation and reduce the tax that you pay on that money you put in, and then can bring it out for your deposit for your first home. That's a way that you know, it can be very tax effective. So the strategy goes something like this. And let's use $10,000 as an example. Instead of, now this is someone that's earning between 45 grand and uh, $120,000. With Medicare, they're going to pay 34.5 cents per dollar tax. So instead of paying the tax and then saving around $6,500 uh, for the deposit, they can get that 10 grand can go into superannuation and they can pay 15%, which means they've got you know, $8,500 um, you know, saved for their deposit, which can come back in subsequent years. Come out to pay the deposit. Where saving is difficult or to save enough, um, or they really want to maximize the amount they're saving, this is where they can increase their deposit saving for the deposit by putting more money into superannuation up to their concessional contributions cap, which is uh, $27,500 per year. But let's say on that $10,000 example, and they would like to save that for the deposit, uh, but they can't afford to do it for cash flow reasons. Well, instead of a $100,000 or $200,000 lump sum from parents or grandparents, they could, over a number of years, subsidize the, uh, the cash flow that they've lost by making that $10,000 contribution to superannuation. And that would be $6,500 per year. And that would mean that the kids' cash flow is the same. So all of a sudden, the kids are 20% better off, um, so they're saving at a faster rate because they're saving tax. The parents are still helping, so the bank and mum and dad are still working, and they can still provide a lump sum down the track. And also the kids are learning how to save on an ongoing basis, which I think is also really valuable. It can also have the potential to reduce the need for lenders mortgage insurance, which is thousands of dollars for those people who don't have a deposit of 20% or above. So I hope this helps. Uh, just an idea and uh, yeah, for those that are lucky enough to have parents and grandparents that have the, the cash flow to help out, um, yeah, fantastic, lucky you, but there's a very tax effective way that can be done. Thanks for listening, I'll catch you next week.